that looks pretty good. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Oh, this is, uh... Drian here and Matt from Arrow Splice. Um, it's been about a week with the welder and we've got a project we're going to work on. I wanted to build an enclosure for my CNC machine um, and we're going to go ahead and... Okay, so we're going to try out a multi-pass filler wire. This is the Lincoln Electric um, NR211MP. The MP means multi-pass. So the idea is that you do one, you brush off the, um, the flux um, or the slag, and then you do another pass. Um, we were having difficulty with the other wire, so we're gonna try out this. And you can get it at like Lowe's, Home Depot, a lot of home improvement places. Also, we've got six four foot, half inch square tubing, and a couple of sheets of plexiglass that we're gonna cut down to size. So we're going to weld together all of the pieces and ultimately have the plexiglass stick to the frame with magnets. Easily be able to access the machine. All right, let's get to it. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we want to change the screw to the new stuff that we got. So first, what you want to do is you want to make sure to cut off the old stuff, okay? Um, also, it's probably not a bad idea to do some maintenance. Clean up the uh, flux, make sure your tips are tight. Okay, looks good. So then you release the tension. Release your wheel and then go ahead and just pull out your roll and rip, wind it back up onto the uh, roll and then take the end of it stick it through one of the holes on the side cool It, it usually finds its way through, but... Perfect. Okay, and then cut off a little bit, and we're good to go. Otherwise, I'm like, oh. that's somewhere in there. Nice work. Oh, that is good. Oh, I don't know when it's gonna hit. No, I get, we get a good shot of that. So the welds turned out much better with this other wire, much cleaner, less spatter, it was far easier to just tack things together, and a couple of them actually turned out very nice cosmetically, which is surprising. Yeah, the tacking's a million times better. Um, Makes it a lot more fun. Mm -hmm. Happy with the filler wire.
just to give you guys a quick demo of the integrity of our weld. We've only tacked it. We haven't like really reinforced it, but let's just see. I haven't done this yet. <laughs> Woo! Cool. It looks great. Woo! Okay. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna square the frame. Um, the heat from the welding will pull it in weird ways. It's gonna put it under tension. So now, next step is to just check square. We're like really close and it's probably acceptable. We're only off by a couple degrees. Um, but one way we can do that is with a hammer. Um, and we just give it a couple of whacks. Um, and like that's pretty much perfect. 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 That corner is too far that way. So we're gonna square it this way. It's real close. So we need to come in that way. That's pretty much perfect. Mm -hmm. Cool. I mean, what do you think? I think, I think that's a win. Yeah, looks great. Clean up the uh, the slag um, and the flux that's um, burnt on, so that we can paint it. That's 
not bad. <laughs> All right, so one of the issues is we've been grinding a lot of metal and welding a lot, and because it's ferrous, meaning that it's iron-based, it's magnetizable, that iron ends up everywhere. Um, and it's really annoying because it screws up with the angles that we're trying to manipulate. So my trick for getting rid of that is um, you take a Ziploc bag and you turn the Ziploc bag inside out. You stick the, um, the magnet inside and then just you know move your magnet around move, sweep it around the room um, there are big big magnet bars that are on um, the ends of sticks but this is sufficient all right, so you end up with all those iron bits, um, slag and whatnot, stuck to your magnet. So then what you do is you, while holding the magnet, you invert the bag, pull the magnet away, your magnet's clean, and all your iron bits are stuck inside your bag. Alexa, lights on. That looks pretty good so far. That's as far back as it'll go with the, the board on the wall. It screws up the part and looks good. Oh, dude, that's the awesome. The width is a little bit much, but you're going to want that. Mm hmm Yeah. Looks good. Yeah, it does. And then you, uh, a little vertical, but that's going to be nice for a camera, internal camera. Yeah, camera for sure. 